Nacho Taco is one of the names we went over in our coverage on the 2018 Zoo Leagues. To give a quick recap, Cupid the Deer and Noodles would do certain actions with their dog under the guise of taking it out to go exercise, and Nacho would come across a video of said actions months later after they broke up. She would go to the police and report the two men, Noodles got arrested, and Cupid would end up getting arrested and sent to jail for 5 years in 2021 after recording himself with an underage person and distributing said video around. Also, other people from the leaks named Tane and Snake Thing plan to set up a fake house party in order to force themselves upon her. Whether because of her snitching or just because they're evil, I'm not too certain. Shout out to the Patreon members as always, and if you'd like to support the channel you can check out the link below or in the corner. Now one may think Nacho just got caught up in the wrong crowd, well, there's a reason this video exists, because let's just say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. After getting herself out of the mess that was her life, she would move and continue to go to furry meets and hang out around that side of the internet, before health problems started to weigh her down. To make it short, she needed to get heart surgery as soon as possible because of said issues, so her friend Muffle the Fox would promote a GoFundMe set up by Jonathan McCready on behalf of Nacho with a goal of $25,000 to cover all her healthcare needs. She would make periodic updates throughout the campaign's run, such as on September 16th informing people on her life being rough as she was homeless as a child, having to eat out of garbage cans hanging around shady people just to survive, and how at 17 she was poisoned and in a coma for 3 whole months. More talk about her being displaced from her family at 11 years old, and how no matter how smart she was in high school and college, she was screwed from the get-go with bad credit and America's healthcare being so bad and more about her pitiful life basically. On that same day, she was able to update people and inform them that she found a host family in Germany and that the doctors over there were willing to perform surgery on her at a lower cost than in America, plus only having to pay half up front instead of the full total, alongside an email from said clinic saying they just need more info from her but are positive they could help her, with the corner showing her full name to be Rebecca Scott. She would make more updates about hitting the quarter mark of the campaign so far, another about donations in September being worth double, and another saying the exact same thing now with an update about her move to Germany alongside the respective paperwork shown it as such. The final update would be thanking everyone for helping reach the $25,000 goal and that she'll be going under surgery on October 26th which is just a week later, again expressing their gratitude for those that helped them out. Alongside the GoFundMe updates, Nacho would also post updates on her Twitter, such as stating on September 10th how she was entering end of life care at the ripe age of 26 because she can't afford healthcare in the United States, and how during the beginning of the GoFundMe Germany approved of her surgery earlier and cheaper than the US and that they take payment after instead of before. She would talk about how during a flight she passed out and missed a connecting flight, but was able to find a new one and finally make her way to Germany once and for all after the unfortunate delay. Now in Germany, she would update people and explain that she needed a pacemaker which cost more money, reiterating that she sold all her belongings for people to keep donating. More updates on her, this time saying she's now having kidney failure and the surgery was delayed 3 days because of it, and on the day before an anonymous friend would donate the remaining amount of the GoFundMe to hit the goal. On the 29th, Nacho would show pictures after the surgery and state she was now selling her extra defib as she didn't need it anymore, updating people on November 14th about how things are looking better ever since she got out of the hospital. On December 21st, she would talk about how she's trying to get public healthcare in Germany and that's looking promising, reiterating that she sold everything she owned and that she's on disability and more bashing the United States healthcare for being unaffordable, posting later that day for people to keep donating as she needs money despite getting her goal already. On the 24th, she would post an update on her condition from the POV of her doctor, with them stating that she has too many issues to take a flight to the US, and on the 27th she would state she's taking assisted suicide as her health conditions are just too much for her to deal with. She would then make some posts within the next week showing her going under surgery to check on her again and another talking about her heart starting to fail. On January 10th, 2021, she would state that her appointment was delayed because of COVID, saying it was now for February 1st in the next few weeks, with that being the last time people ever heard from her. Some Kiwi Farms users would offer their condolences as it seemed Nacho finally got herself out of the hell that is the furry fandom, but her deck of cards just wasn't in her favor, which while very unexpected to see from users on the site, showed at the very least they did have some sort of sadness for her in her unfortunately short life. Some users however didn't forgive as easily, as surprise surprise, she was cut from the same cloth as Cupid as she had a Beast Form account and took a picture doing it with someone else's dog before, with people confirming it to be her by cross referencing the tattoo on her right shoulder. Where things get interesting is that someone brand new to the thread who just happened to run across it was given a link of evidence to her past, and they would search up the username in the post and supposedly find it now named just Rebecca, which showed that it logged in that very day. Users would look into this to see if it was just a strange coincidence with having the same exact name as her, and others would start to question the validity of everything as it sounded extremely fishy that Germany would fly in an American during the middle of COVID to get assisted suicide when they were already strict with it with their own citizens. Skepticism would start to turn into outright denial, with people claiming that the story isn't adding up anymore, and then straight up calling her a liar who set everything up for an easy payday while she ran away to Germany. People will find a now deleted post from her reddit account on February 11th, showing her speaking 10 days after her supposed appointment to end her life. 
A user would notice her hospital records show it was saying that she had insurance, and points out that it should say no insurance or private if she wasn't insured like she said to begin with. People would then notice her Twitter account following and unfollowing people, but given the numbers are small, it could have been attributed to accounts that had been deleted or reactivated. Nothing was certain, but it kept people interested to keep digging some more. Someone doubts she even went to Germany at all, but that'll be confirmed as the chairs and bright red door in this picture she took matches those seen in Munich, meaning she did go to Germany for something and wasn't lying about that. An eagle-eyed user will find her exact flight by using the flight number seen on her pass, showing it went from Rochester to Washington DC, pointing out the chairs in question on another picture are made for use on long-haul international flights. People would again confirm she was flying out of Rochester by finding an address on a box and cross-referencing the location with a picture of her dog, giving everyone a starting point. Muffle the Fox would catch wind of this investigation and post an update on Twitter, saying that Nacho is all of a sudden doing better now and the doctors believe she'd make a full recovery. People would then dig into her Amino account, showing that she's been into dirt biking since she was 7 and snowboarding since she was 16, which doesn't exactly line up very well with her claims of being a homeless struggling teenager with a multitude of health issues who's been through a lot in life. Another user would make note that to live in the Schengen area, which is a giant conglomerate of European countries that include Germany, it's recommended to have 25000 in your bank account to prove you have a decent income if you want to live there. Eventually, a user would come to her Twitter and compile literally everything to figure out what exactly is going on and where the truth lies, so let's see what's up. Nacho Dago grew up the youngest and only girl of her family, with her brother serving in the military at one point in time. She would enjoy spending her pastime riding dirt bikes at 7 and eventually got to snowboarding by the time she was 16, but was also homeless by the age of 11 and eating out of garbage cans to survive while playing with kids on scooters at the same exact age. She would claim that her mother abandoned her at 11 after falling for a man who couldn't be around children, and she would attend a high school at one point under the title of being a homeless teenager. She would then end up being in a coma at 17 and turn 18 during that time, and apparently because of becoming a legal adult she lost all her health care and was put into a massive amount of debt. She would then wake up and fail high school because of her time in the hospital, with her dog being rehomed as well, seeing how she struggled to receive proper medical care because of being put in massive debt. Nacho would claim that her father worked for NASA and was far right politically and treated her badly because of her conditions, and tells another user that she was homeless and she was never able to learn how to apply makeup or anything because of that. She also says that she used to work security for Amazon and that one time when a co-worker said hi to Jeff Bezos they were fired on the spot because of it. She's also red green colorblind as well, setting up a GoFundMe so she can get the correct glasses in order to see colors. The Cupid and Noodle Saga would go down with her dispute leading them to getting caught for having relations with their dog, in which people end up finding out she was just like them later on during the 2018 Zoo Sadus leaks, including some good old irony posting talking about how people hide secrets and not to trust them when she got some of the worst secrets to hide out of anybody. Nacho also has a condition in which her body temp runs low and how it almost got her into serious trouble because the hospital didn't detect anything early and weren't urgently looking into her troubles. She would break her rib and have to skip out on a convention in 2018 because of her recovery time, and states that her dog is a service dog who detects seizures before they could happen so she could get the safety, yet she also motorbikes and snowboards where her dog can't possibly be anywhere near her to protect her. The Zeus status leaks will come out and people discover everything about it, with Snake Things showing someone that Nacho sent him a certain image that was starting to spread around after the arrest, and if you remember my video including him, it's most likely that image with her and the dog together. Nacho also went through the police academy and worked with them in an undisclosed position at one point. In fact, while Snake Thing was talking to Tane about this Cupid situation, he mentions that she's a cop who was also into dogs and was able to get him caught because of her ties, but Tane goes on to correct him and say she actually isn't a cop at all, showing that even the inner circle of zoos knew something was weird with her. Months after the leak, she would bring up the topic of zoos in almost a weird defensive light, and again brings them up saying she never knew they existed until the furry fandom despite literally being one herself with hard photo evidence. She also shows for the first time that she's planning to sell her fursuit at one point, and given her past, it's very gross to think about. In March 2020, Nacho is 25 years old in this Twitter post, then in September 2020 she states twice she's now 26 years old, but then in December 2020 she posts she's now 27 years old, which makes no sense at all. She also has a serious respiratory condition called COPD, and is also immunocompromised as well to the surprise of nobody. She was also on SSDI for healthcare reasons and had to quit streaming for money on Twitch because she lost it after they determined she was making too much money before having to reapply for it a month later. But literally on the same day she would then say she lost her healthcare coverage and ever since then can't get any work ever since it happened. She's also now a certified professional dog trainer who works for a dog academy nearby and was currently training the dog to help with autistic people. Nacho would end up getting a tooth infection after breaking a tooth from a fall when she had a seizure, eventually got it fixed sometime later in June 2020. She also took a rubber bullet to the leg according to herself, yet if you look closely there's no actual impact zone from the bullet, and given the plentiful amounts of photos on Google there is, it's very strange to see it missing. In August 2020, she would state she's actually been putting off dental care because of the cost despite getting her teeth fixed just two months prior, and she was also braindead at one point during her coma before miraculously recovering from a literally unrecoverable state. 
She also comments on yet another story of a furry being outed as a zoo, and then tries to say in one post that she tried to cut those people out of the furry fandom herself, despite once again, literally being one herself. She also states she's been on life support a total of 9 times in her life so far, and when asked what country she would move to a month before making that GoFundMe, she would say she would love to move to Germany because of the educational opportunities and cheaper healthcare. On September 7, 2020, Nacho would get sent to the hospital because her heart gave out on her and she had to get resuscitated there. Then on the next day on the 8th, her heart would give out again despite feeling better. She would say she has a condition called Long QT Syndrome, which basically means the heart pumps blood at a slower rate than normal, and that her dog was the one who alerted the neighbors to get them after she passed out. She says she needs to get an ICD installed, which basically shocks the heart if it detects it slowing down, and reiterates that her heart itself is in perfect shape, it's just pumping blood slow, saying she can't take beta blockers to fix the issue because she's a bradycardiac too. She makes a post where she states she'll be going on end-of-life care due to her issues, and then that very day when talking to someone, they mentioned to start a GoFundMe to help her out, when Nacho stating that she's had three cardiac arrests in her life so far. Nacho would then get her hands on a defib from the Charlotte Fire Department, and then someone named Jonathan McCready would start a GoFundMe on her behalf. The GoFundMe would gain traction on Twitter as she would exclaim excitedly for all the help, and she would post an update showing that a doctor from Germany was willing to help her in an email on September 13th just 3 days prior, notably saying that they needed documents of her heart condition before they went any further, meaning nothing was approved just yet. Two days after the email, she would say she's approved for surgery in just 3 weeks, and then says she was being evicted for not paying rent, mind you, in the middle of COVID when evictions were postponed for obvious reasons. Someone would point this out, and she would backtrack and say the landlord just cut the internet, stopped cutting the grass outside and pointed out her heart issue, now he upped the rent instead. Nacho then starts selling her belongings to help afford the flight over to Germany, and one of those posts included a box with an address, which led people to a location that matched up with a photo she took of her dog, which was Rochester, New York. She then states that the packages won't be sent from a Washington address because she's in the Washington State Address Confidentiality Program and provides a picture of her certificate. She then states once more that she needs an ICD implant, and the next day says how she met a new doctor to discover her condition is apparently now congenital and has been there since birth. The doctor would check on her current state and get the vitals and whatnot, stating that since she's moving to Germany soon they won't continue anything else, saying the plan is to get an evaluation in Germany, continue her current anti-epileptic and inhaler medication, and to be careful when flying. On the 19th, Nacho would state that the US approved of her surgery on October 24th, but that Germany approved it 3 weeks prior and that they collect payments after the surgery instead of before. However, a day before on her GoFundMe she also states that she made a down payment for the surgery, which contradicts what Germany apparently does. She would state she is eligible for Medicare and Medicaid, and was instead on an unknown state-based low-income healthcare program during this ordeal. She was also very ashamed for having to start a GoFundMe to get the surgery, was also promoting her cash up and Venmo in the comments during the whole time it was running. In fact, her Venmo shows her paying her dog groomer on September 21st despite being extremely poor and needing to save as much as she can to fly to Germany soon. Despite just learning about her heart condition, her dog is all of a sudden trained in detecting heartbeat irregularities in her body, and she also says she had polycystic ovarian cancer, which literally does not exist at all. Nacho posts saying she's looking for cheap clothing to get by during her 6 month stay in Germany, before showing a pic flying out of Rochester. She would then make a post saying how she missed her connecting flight before passing out, in which the pictures are that of the Chicago City Line. She would then say she was denied international travel because of being too high risk and apparently sent back, presumably to Rochester, also stating that she's not permitted to fly through France or Europe because of her dog but that she needs to be with them the whole time. She would then apparently get everything sorted out and was now heading straight to Germany, except we saw in the boarding pass from that picture it was from Rochester to Washington DC. While it's very unlikely she would forget to make a post about her connecting flight given her constant updates, she would actually end up in Germany, showing her hiking on top of a giant rock with her fatal heart condition, one that she used as an excuse to paint herself in a sympathetic light without having to cut grass after her landlord raised rent. Nacho would post an update with her cardiologist despite it being a month since she said she was getting surgery in 3 weeks. Now she's in and out of hospitals every day during her time in Germany. She would then get approved for surgery on October 26th, and then say it's now for a pacemaker and costs more money, so make sure to keep donating to the GoFundMe guys. She would then say she's thinking about staying in Germany after the surgery, which as we saw earlier, the GoFundMe just happens to be the same amount recommended to have in your bank account when applying for a visa. She would then do her final EKG in Nuremberg on October 23rd, and make a post showing the supposed bill for the pacemaker being discounted, notably saying she doesn't have the English translations yet. A German user will point out that this isn't actually a bill but rather a paper stating the prices for something will be relatively the same across most hospitals so the patient knows, along with the other two being that no insurance will cover it due to being a pre-existing condition and that she can't travel to the US because of it. Nacho would then say she now has a kidney infection and that the surgery had to be delayed. Oh but now it's actually kidney failure and she needs to be put on dialysis. She then says she's been on and off dialysis throughout her whole life and she's now on a 3 day antibiotic plan to help with her kidneys. The next day she travels to do stuff with immigration after having an appointment with him, and says that an anonymous friend donated the remaining money on the tab to get to the goal to GoFundMe. 
She would then go under a successful surgery for the pacemaker ICD combo package on the 29th, while stating that she has to be limited on payments because of her kidneys, only for the next day to post about how her kidneys are all good now and she even passed the stone in the process. She then posts an update about how her heart is now working a lot better than before and she can now walk and stand without passing out. Despite this condition being since birth and going around on dirt bikes and snowboards for the past decade of her life with no issues. Oh, and dancing too. Nacho then posts a picture where she went to a wedding on December 5th, and another that same day drinking beer despite the constant health issues she seems to have. She also had to use the ICD on December 18th to kickstart her heart after it started to slow down on her, but also a day after she was exploring around despite a serious health issue that just happened. Remember to donate to the GoFundMe by the way, it may have covered her visa but she's struggling with all the money and still burnt through her whole life savings to get to Germany. She then says that she's getting disability payments now, with an insurance message that basically translates into saying she won't be covered by Germany's healthcare because it was already an issue she knew about before applying. She also had a heart infection now too, which delayed her surgery alongside the kidney infection as well. Nacho would then make a post on December 24th about her health issues deteriorating, yet if you check the date on the image it was from October 27th before her surgery so of course it would be bad. It's an old photo. She would then spin this into her message saying that she'll be doing assisted suicide because her health issues are just too much to handle anymore, stating that she's going to be in a meeting with their doctors as they disagree with their course of action. She goes on to remind people that she's made of glass and pretty much everything is wrong with her body, and now states she's an orphan despite stating earlier her mom left her and her dad being well alive during this time. Nacho would state that she's getting a catheter in her heart now and the German healthcare will now cover her despite the earlier statement, but she now has nightmares from taking the pain meds after the surgery. She then states how she just lays in the hospital bed waiting for the approval to move on and that the doctors told her she'll never be able to recover and work again and that she will die soon. She would then say her appointment is located in the Netherlands and is now scheduled for February 1st before going silent on Twitter. She would then make that post on her Reddit account but nobody would catch it at the time as it was deleted. And after finding out people were looking into the situation, Muffle the Fox would make a post saying that she's all sudden okay living her life in Germany and that the doctors believe she'll make a full recovery despite telling everyone that they were ready to help her with their plan to move on. Someone would scour the website Husky owners for any info on her when they would run across a reply by Nacho Dog on an account. Clicking it would lead them to the account dog with the butter with the profile ID 14982 and the hyperlink. Using the same exact profile ID but changing the name to Nacho Dog leads you right to Dog with the butter, meaning that this was her account on Husky owners, and it was seemingly active all the way until Kiwi Farms found out, as it hasn't been touched since that post was made on the site. Sometime in late 2021, she would also straight up delete her Twitter account for anyone wondering if she was dead or not. And in 2022, someone would find her Steam account where she now lives in Bayern, Germany, a place with a thriving furry community for people to enjoy. Well, after finally putting it all together, it's pretty easy to get a timeline. Nacho wanted to move to Germany for some time now, and after seeing it's recommended to apply for a visa of 25000 in a bank account, she decided to run a GoFundMe in order to get that money and become a citizen of Germany. The thing that's strange to me is the fact she actually got a surgery. The only thing I can think of is that she got a simple heart surgery that wasn't anything life saving so that the money wouldn't be refunded once people figured her out. It's obvious the assisted suicide plot was there so people would get off her case and she could disappear easier. So when people found out she lied about dying, her friend would then make an update to try and save face before someone on Twitter blew the story out of the water and of course deleted her Twitter account so people would stop digging. Now you may be wondering, why am I covering this complete nobody in a whole big video? Well if you remember, that's because she was part of the 2018 zoo status leaks but was able to slip right through the onlookers and make her way to Germany completely scot free. There is hard evidence of her doing it with a dog and she is a threat to any animal she comes across. She was even in contact with Snake Thing and for those of y'all who know that story, you already know just how messed up that guy is. Some people may think because it was so long ago that you just forgive somebody for doing this, but to me, she's a dog fucker and that's completely unforgivable no matter how someone puts it. And since she was able to slip right through the cracks, I figure it's better late than never to cover this story. The 2018 Zoo Sadist leaks brought forth just how many furries like to fuck animals in their pastime, and nobody will forget what they've done or plan on doing. Nacho Doggo may have been able to run from her past, but it was bound to catch up to her sooner or later. Speaking of her past, she liked to hang out with someone by the name of Korg Kitty, which let me tell you is a whole nother can of worms to deal with. We'll get to that soon enough though, cause let's just say Korg got his own thing going on that goes far deeper than one might think.